Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk. This is the fourth video in a series of tips and tricks on Poplet. In this video, I want to give you tips around how to work efficiently with Poplets. When working with Poplets, the environment object might become obstructive to your workflow, so there's ways around that. First, I want you to focus on the display section of the Poplet tools. You can easily hide the environment object or the character of your Poplet flow or idle area. Now, deleting the character will react differently than hiding the object or the people. Now, deleting the character from the scene will react differently. It won't delete the object environment or the idle area environments, but it will remove all the character in your scene and you will have to re-simulate in order to recreate the character meshes. Now, it could be a good practice to delete the character from your scene upon exiting the software before saving as it will lighten your scene. As you can tell here, I have a comparison of a scene save with the populate character and without the populate character. And you can tell that the one that has no populate character in it is much lighter than the previous one. So that could be a good idea if you want to keep your scene very light and the populate character will be re-simulated or recreated upon uh, opening the scene. Now, while working within the scene, you can always hide either the object environment or the character without having to re-simulate or recreate the mesh. Now, the other thing you might want to consider is that when you're playing your animation, your camera animation, and really trying to understand how these characters are moving to your scene and what is the flow, it might be a bit heavy and everything goes to wireframe and it might be hard to understand what these people are doing. You do have the option to move to the stick figures, which will be lighter, but even so, it might be hard to really understand the movement of each character. So what I suggest is to render a preview animation. A preview animation is basically a quick viewport rendering. So here in the make preview, you have option to render a smaller version. So 50% of the output, so render faster. You can render in the rendering style that you want. I personally normally stick to the default settings and just hit create. And this will render a small preview animation, which is basically a viewport rendering animation of how the viewport looks like. And that's going to be a quick way to see exactly how these characters are moving in my scene. The preview will be saved automatically under your preview folder in the project folder. And you can play it as many times as you want to really understand the movement of each of these characters. Looking at the preview will allow you to refine this character animation and maybe change and adjust the flow in preparation for your full mental ray rendering. 